So now that you've signed up for a Canva Educator account, if you haven't already done so, make sure you watch the previous video that shows you how to get started. So now we're gonna dive into the features. If I'm ready to create a design, I can go up here to create a design. It's gonna ask me, what am I looking to create? Education, presentation, video, so forth. I love that you can even go in here and create a Google Classroom header, it has the right sizes. That's one of the reasons I love the template so much is they're already in the sizes you need. So if you need to create a Twitter post, it's gonna be the right size or an Instagram post or whatever. So for this purpose, I'm gonna just make an education infographic. I'm gonna click on that. Again, the benefit of signing up for the educator account is you're gonna have the extra educational features. I picked infographic and I've got templates to start with right here. So I can go in here and I can grab any of these and start with it and remix it. So I'm just gonna grab this one on the multiple intelligences. I can apply both pages or just one page. I'm gonna say apply both pages. So now I have two pages here and every element I can change. Pretty cool. Some of the things you wanna look at is I can go in here and add different elements. So you notice this has icons, it has text, it has shapes, all different things. So I can go over here to the elements tab and I can search for other elements. So what I wanna do is I wanna get a blank uh, page. So I can go here and I've got this blank page here. I can say I wanna duplicate it or I wanna add a blank width. If I had a new one, I can move them up or down. So this is very intuitive here. I can delete the page if I don't want it. I can even give the page a name, which is really good if you're trying to organize. Like for me, I do my YouTube thumbnails all under one design graphic so that I can duplicate and make changes. And so I can rename them for what I need. So now that I've got this blank page here, a couple of things I wanna point out. I can upload my own images, pretty straightforward. So if I choose to upload, I can upload any of the images that I want. I can search by photos. So if I'm looking for anything in particular, I can search for those. I'm doing a lesson for our steam carnival here in the district. And so I wanted to have a really cool zoom background. I can actually search for earth and find the image I want. So I could grab that and when I put it in here, I can move it wherever I want. And notice this is an infographic. So it's a very long, almost like legal size piece of paper. I could go in and change the size if I wanted to. But right now I'm just gonna drop those images in there. I can go in and add text. What I love about Canva is that it has headings, subheadings and all that, but it also has these font combinations. So if you're like me and you go down the font rabbit hole, trust me, I spend a lot of time going, I like this one, I don't like that one, how does it look? I can actually go in here and grab one that has already been created and customize it. A couple of my favorites are these two glow ones. So I'm gonna grab that. When I add it in here, when I double click on it, I can change the text. I can go up here and change the color to any color that I want. Maybe you want it to be stand out, be a little dark. So there it stands out. So that's how I can add in text. I can go to styles. This is super cool. I can actually say remix the entire document. So notice that it has these colors, but if I said, I want everything to be like in these blue, the Barlow bold, it's gonna go ahead and magically do that. So if you found a template you like, but you didn't like the colors, you could just go in and remix it by changing the style. I can add in audio. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about that when we get to the video section in this series. And you can search for and add in videos or upload your own, and you can even record yourself. Again, that'll be in a, a level up video that I'll be covering shortly. I can change the background. I can search by color scheme or types. So notice I've got landscapes, patterns, gradients, and abstracts food even, I can choose any of those. So those are the basics over here. I can go up here and select any of these elements. I can change the position by, I can actually group things by selecting things. So if I wanted to group these together, notice I got two blue boxes here. I can right click and I can choose to group, animate, even change colors. I can copy and paste and move them around. So on the text, I can go here, go down that font rabbit hole. I can search for a particular font if I have an absolute favorite font I like to use, and I can drill down and find the ones that I like. Now, you might be wondering, what do these crowns mean? That those are actually for pro users. That's why we upgraded to the educator account, because with the educator account, you have access to them. If you run the free account, this would be a gold crown, and that means you'd have to pay to be able to use that feature. I can adjust the size of my font. I can, this looks just like Google Docs or Microsoft Word, any other word processing application. I can change the text color, bold, italicize, center. I can even add in effects. So if I go to effects, notice I have this glow look, but maybe I wanna change it to something 
else with just the click. And I can even do a little bit of curved text if I wanted, but wait, maybe I did something and I didn't mean to. I can always use that undo right here. If I wanted to resize this from an infographic, I could do that. It's going to take the same design and then resize it to the size that you want. I can go in here and even add animations. This wants to be an animated document. I can go to animate and I could say, I actually want the text to come in. One of my personal favorites is there's a typewriter effect. So we can do here and it looks like it's typing on there. This is if you're going to use it as a video or an animated GIF. So tons of options. If I right click or hit the three dots, I'm going to get more options such as underscore. I can copy the formatting I have. I can change the transparency. I can even lock elements. So I'm an avid Google Slides user. I love it. It's a Swiss Army knife of Google tools. But one of the things you can't do is lock things. So I do love that in Canva. If you really don't want anything to move, you can lock it right here. So that's the quick overview of the features. If you want to know how to publish and export or download your designs, check out the next video.